Do you want to unlock every detail about your PC, from the motherboard model to exact RAM speeds, without installing any single app? Whether you are optimizing performance, planning upgrades, or documenting hardware, these commands give you total visibility. In this video, I will show you 9 must-run PowerShell commands that advanced users rely on to check deep system specs. Let's dive into it. Press Windows plus R to open the RAM dialog box. Type PowerShell and press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter to open PowerShell as an administrator. For advanced hardware and operating system details, type Get Computer Info. Select Object, OS Name, OS Version, Computer System Type, Computer's Manufacturer, Computer's Model. The Get Computer Info command lets gathers system-wide data from Windows management instrumentation and system environment variables. When filtered with Select Object, you can isolate only the critical hardware and operating system specs. On execution, the OS name indicates the full name of the operating system. This helps advanced users identify motherboard series if Windows was installed from scratch. OS version indicates the internal Windows version, which is useful for update checks. Knowing your internal version ensures compatibility with scripts, apps, or enterprise policies. Computer system type indicates the architecture, which shows if your operating system is a 64-bit or 32-bit. This will enable you to determine whether you can upgrade a specific software or drivers. The computer's model indicates the PC model identifier. It is perfect for generating standardized hardware information across multiple machines in enterprise or lab environments. To export the results to a file for documentation or remote support, type the command once again. And include out file env user profile documents system specs dot txt this saves the output to system specs text file in your documents folder for cpu and core information type get sim instance Win32 processor. Select object name. Number of cores. Number of logical processes. Max clock speed. This command uses Windows management instrumentation through get sim instance to fetch CPU related details from the Win32 processor class and filters only the most relevant properties using select object. On execution, the name indicates the full processor name. Number of cores indicates the total physical cores per processor. Number of logical processes, which indicates total logical processes per processor. Max clock speed indicates the maximum speed in megahertz, but not in real time frequency. To display additional CPU properties, let's go even deeper. Type get sim instance win32 processor. Format list. This command will reveal the L2 cache, L3 cache, socket destination, and other information. To export the information to file for documentation purposes, type the command once again. and include out file env user profile documents cpu specs txt this will save the output to cpu specs file in your documents folder For RAM configuration details, type get sim instance 
we enter it through physical memory. Select object capacity. Speed. Manufacturer. Part number. This command queries the Win32 physical memory Windows management instrumentation class, which returns detailed information about each installed memory model, which is a level of insights that is not available through basic tools like Tax Manager. Capacity basically indicates the size of the RAM stick in bytes. Speed indicates the rated speed of the model in megahertz. Manufacturer indicates the vendor and part number indicates the product ID or code of the model, which is useful for replacement or upgrades. If you want even more details, type get sim instance wing32 physical memory format list. This command includes extra information like the memory type, bank label which is basically the slot it's in form factor and configured voltage for motherboard information type get some instance win32 base board select object manufacturer product serial number this command pulls data from the Win32 baseboard Windows Management Instrumentation class, which holds details about the physical motherboard installed in your system, which is something not visible in the Tax Manager or Basic System information. On execution, you will see the manufacturer, which indicates the motherboard vendor, product, which indicates the motherboard model. This information can be used to download the latest firmware or check change logs. Serial number indicates a unique board serial, which is helpful for warranty checks or access tracking. For graphic processing unit information, type get some instance Win32 video controller. Select object name, driver version, video processor. This retrieves info from the Win32 Video Controller Windows Management Instrumentation class, which is a reliable way to see every installed GPU, including integrated or dedicated graphics, driver versions, and the GPU core type. On execution, you will see the name, which indicates the name of the GPU. This displays all detected video controllers, which is great for detecting hybrid setups. Driver version indicates the installed display driver version, which is useful for updating. Video processor, which indicates the GPU architecture model. Understanding the GPU architecture and driver version helps with fine tuning for rendering or gaming. To see your video RAM and resolution capabilities, let's check video RAM amounts and resolution capabilities. Run gets instance win32 video controller which queries your system's video controllers select object name which filters the output On execution, the name of the GPU will be displayed. Adapter RAM indicates the amount of dedicated video memory. Current horizontal resolution indicates the width of the current display resolution. Current vertical resolution indicates the height of the current display resolution. Optionally, you can export the GPU information to file by typing the command once again. and including out file, env, user profile, documents, gpu info.txt. This saves file in your documents folder. For disk drives information, type get physical disk. Select object, friendly name, Media type, size, serial number, 
This command leverages the storage subsystem, not just raw hardware, to give a real-world overview of your physical disk. On execution, you will see the friendly name, which indicates the model or label of the drive, the media type, which is the disk type, which could be solid-state drive or hard disk drive. The size will typically indicate the raw capacity in bytes. Serial number indicates the manufacturer's serial, which is useful for tracking, warranties, or inventory. To include disk details and health, let's complement the information with disk details and health in order to get volume letters, used space, and file system. Type get volume, select object drive letter, file system label, file system, size remaining, size. On execution, the output will typically display the drive letter, size remaining on the drive and the size of the drive. To see the smart status, which is limited to supported drives, type get physical, select object, friendly name, health status, operational status. On execution, the friendly name indicates the readable name for the drive. The health status should typically show the overall health, which could be healthy, unhealthy, or warning. The operational status indicates the operational state, which is usually OK, or can show offline, field, or maintenance. For storage controller and interface type information, type get sim instance win32 disk drive. Select object model. Interface type, serial number, firmware, revision. This command pulls information from the Win32 disk drive Windows Management Instrumentation class, which exposes low-level hardware interface details that the Get Physical Disk might not reveal. On execution, you will see the model, which is the full model name of the drives. Interface type, which indicates the connection protocol. Serial number, which shows the hardware serial, which is handy for tracking. Firmware revision, which shows the current firmware version. Knowing your firmware version helps when applying for updates or checking patch levels. To export the information to file, type the command once again. and include out file, env, user profile, documents, storage, interface, info.txt. This will save the output to storage interface info file in your documents folder. For information on network adapter details, type get net adapter. Select object name, status, link speed, MAC address, driver information. The name will typically indicate the adapter name, which could be Wi Fi, Ethernet, or a custom device label. Status may indicate up, down, disabled, or disconnected. This helps spot issues instantly. Link speed shows connection speed. MAC address indicates the unique hardware identifier, which is useful for filtering or security setups. Driver information indicates the vendor driver name and version, which is critical for performance tuning. To export the information to a file, type the command once again. and include out file, env, user profile, documents, network adapter, details, dot text. This will save the output to network adapter details file. Optionally, you can choose to compare all interfaces quickly, sorted by speed, by typing get net adapter, which pulls a list of all your network adapters. Sort object.
link speed descending which sorts the list by link speed from the fastest to slowest this instantly shows which adapter has the best connection speed which is very helpful for network performance troubleshooting or verifying whether you are on wi-fi or ethernet lastly to check your bios version and date information type get sim instance win 32 bios which retrieves information about the bios firmware installed on your system select object which filters to show just the most important properties On execution, you will see the SM BIOS version, which is the official version string of your BIOS. Newer BIOS versions often improve support for modern CPUs. Release date is the firmware release date, which is often used to check if updates are overdue. Outdated firmware can be the hidden cause of system problems. If this video helped you uncover your PC's full specs, drop a like and subscribe for more performance tips.